who went a long way south, for example, from Greece, started being able to see... Hey YouTube, my name's Zach, and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar, and today I'm going to be doing part 5.2 in this series of tutorials explaining how to create your own programming language. In the last part of this tutorial, we got to about here, which is in the for loop, and so after this, what we're going to do is we're going to do this dot index plus plus. After that, we're going to do for loop. Dot from equals this dot parse expression. After that, we're going to do an if statement. If this dot index equals this dot tokens dot count, or this dot tokens square bracket this dot index that equals this is going to be two point so not two point until within this we're going to do we're going to throw a new system dot exception We're going to do expected until after 4. After that, we're going to do the stat index plus plus. After that, we're going to do for loop. dot body equals this dot parse stmt result equals for loop after that we're going to do an if statement if this dot index equals this dot tokens dot count or this dot token square bracket this dot index that equals that we're going to do end and this we're going to throw us new system dot exception And we're going to do unterminated for loop body. After that, we're going to do this stat index plus plus. After that, we're going to do an else if this dot tokens square bracket this dot index is string and do assign equals new assign and do assign dot adent equals string this dot tokens this dot index plus plus after that we're going to do an if statement 
So if this, that tokens, throw a rag at this, sorry, if this stat index equals this that tokens that count or this that tokens square bracket this that index does not equal scanner that equal and this we're going to throw a new system that exception. It's going to be an expected. Equals. After that, we're going to do this dot index plus plus. And assign dot expression equals this dot parse expression. And the result equals assign. Then we're going to do an else. And we're going to throw a new system that exception. And parse, type and parse error at token. Okay, do a plus this dot index. Plus uh, quotation mark colon another quotation mark. We're gonna do another plus this dot tokens square bracket this dot index and leave that out. Okay, what we just did there was basically say parse error and it's going to be it's pretty much like exception handling here um, wherever the error might be it's going to bring that up as soon as it appears and under this we're going to do an if statement this dot index if this dot index is less than this dot tokens dot count and this dot tokens square bracket this dot index equals scanner dot sim Do this that index plus plus. We're gonna do an if statement if this that index is less than this dot tokens that count. And this dot tokens square bracket this dot index that equals This is going to be end. Okay guys, we'll finish this in the next part of this tutorial. See you then.